And welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this once again your man Bob Mob, aka Doc Wild Card. Welcome you back to Doki Doki Purest Mob, in which in this case I'm saving Monica. I go to the club the next day still wondering what I should do. Didn't come up with a single thing last night. The situation is something so unique I can't look up the answers or type or tips online for help. If no, greet the three people I'll be there. He looks up for the local news. As Suki looks up, the closet sees me. Oh, hey there, Bob. Hi! Mike is not with you? I didn't see you coming here, so no. Ah. She's been reminding me a while, hasn't she? Maybe she does have a boyfriend. She's so sure is from from Catholic and she goes to that way for you. My best not to give her one. Sorry, but still, it's not entirely out of the question, right? She did tell us she didn't have one, but you know. <laughs> Slides open, pockets running inside. Sorry, I'm late. Someone at the big club asked me to do them a favor. Hi, Monica. Did I miss anything? No, we were all just waiting around. Ah, I see. Thank you for waiting. That's true, I suppose. Anyway, so it's making an interruption. As soon as everyone goes back to their normal activities. <laughs> there is once again being off to the side. Asuki is browsing her modern collection. Sir Monica Chang is usual this time about poetry. It was kind of strange. Sign at least look like I'm busy. I take a book from my book, my backpack and open it somewhere around the middle. Every few moments I turn the page. So I'm very good at this. My name is Bob. Hey. Bob Seger, turn the page. Classic masterpiece. Look it up if you don't know, ladies and gentlemen. It's an awesome song. For that other reading, I keep thinking. I guess the only real way I can talk to her alone is to go somewhere. in school so go back to playing a club president role or trying to look like a student. But if I take her out here then she can't do that. Or at least that's what I think. There's a chance she'll only no. There's a chance she'll try to look at and act like she does here, but maybe, just maybe, not being in in school will put her on put her off her game. That's all I can do anyway. As the rest of the day goes by I feel the nervousness 
search to very popular. Since we didn't write any poems, it's quiet. Okay, everyone. I can clap your hands together if you get anyone's attention. We didn't do anything today since I didn't sign anything, but I wanted to ask you if you'd be comfortable doing your system things. Shift? Well, it would be a big shift. Since we wrote a lot of poems already, I thought we would try maybe writing a song. Song is a lot like poetry after all. I want to get everyone's opinions on it. Is it too big of a jump? We wouldn't have to do, have it done by the next club meeting, right? Of course not, that'd be too short a time. I was thinking maybe a week, or if you'd like, maybe we could try two or three weeks. If everyone is comfortable with it anyway. Fine with it. I, I guess I could try. All this is on me now. It's not like I have much of a choice for all this, but come on, man, stand up for yourself. Now I would do so anyway, but saying that kind of thing. Yeah, sounds good, man. Okay. Option sounds good. It was already hard enough for any poetry, so I think some more time would be good as well. This is making a bunch of poems fit with each other. Alright, what about you, Natsuki? That's fine with me, I guess. The others will pretty much... The other pretty much said where I am sneaking anyway. I'm fine with three weeks as well. But it's settled. We'll still have club meetings in case you want to help on the early... Today's meeting. Everyone gets up fairly for the day. So it also quite relaxing not saying words to me. I guess you're putting things in my hands, huh? Well, oh, Bob Mob, you're not going home, silly. Today, um, is something wrong? You two didn't fight into a fight, did you? No, of course not. I think she knows what's up and is trying to keep me away from what I want to do. Anyway, um, Monica, I want to ask you if you'd like to go somewhere if you want. Busy. Um, sort of just to get some inspiration, you know? Quick, quick, I put on the fire spring. How about this really nice place? There's a tower that has a good view. Maybe you could get something from it. And... Pop, pop. Are you asking me on a date? 
Go flame quickly starts staring at the orders finish this conversation. It's fast as well. Uh, um, it's not really there. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe you already know I could introduce you to a good place for writing since it could help you write a song. And, and, and I'm sorry, I'll be going up. Sorry about you. I tried to do as fast as I can, racing for my hasty move. Realizing that my hasty move was probably not for the best. I'd be delighted, Bob. Yeah, I might have to talk around halfway through out the door. Uh, huh? Should I be happy to go with you, Bob? This upcoming Sunday, it's fine, right? Oh, oh, yeah, that's fine. Should we meet up for, at my house? You already know where I live. Where it is since you first came over on time. On time. That sounds fine with me. What time would you like to go? Maybe in the afternoon? Alright, so is that all? E yeah, see you tomorrow, Monica. See you later, Bob. As soon as I leave the club room and get far enough away, I breathe a sigh of relief. That went a lot better and worse than I expected. reach up and feel my cheeks find they're still burning ah oh, jeez I could have I could have sounded I couldn't have sounded any dumber if I had tried well at least you said yes but part of me is confused about it if I was doing it so I could get her out of school that I was doing it so I could get her out of school, but surely she could see, foresee that happening. But then again, maybe it'd be like the rooftop again. When it was just the two of us alone, she didn't have to worry about being a club president. She maybe said yes because of that. So maybe she said yes. Either way, I guess it's in motion now. All it's left to do is to wait and see what comes out of it. I don't run into the area on the way home, which is fine with me. I probably end up stumbling over my own words and giving away everything to her. She probably get all the details about how I completely failed to ask my kid to go with me somewhere. How did you fail to do that? She said yes, didn't she? Jeez. Well, whatever I did, nonetheless. Well, whatever I did, nonetheless. So I'll ha have to be content with that. Next few days of club were fairly quiet. We all work on it, songs and art and silence. My kid occasionally poking around to see if we're still okay. Sarah sure leaves me on the way home. Sarah sure teases me on the way home sometimes too. Come on, she totally smiled at you. What'd you do? N nothing. Are you sure you can't tell me? Absolutely sure. You're no fine. But, but Monica seems a little happier, so I'm glad. If I see her on the head. Don't worry, sorry. I'm doing my best. I don't know if, it's, if what I'm doing is going to help, but... 
Someone's got to try, right? Mm-hmm. With that, we reach our houses splitting off. See you later, Siri. Phase Sunday arrives. My kid says she arrived at 3 o'clock, so I don't have to worry about preparing lunch. I'll just make sure to have enough money to cover up there if we end up staying there long enough. Alright. I wouldn't say I'm dressed up, but I thought it would be so cool. Let my cell phone chief you know on my week. Okay, I'm definitely up now. Even though I kept telling myself this is not a day crap, part of me keeps saying it definitely is. So I'm a bit of a nervous wreck inside. Check the clock and find it's about 2 o'clock. I must do other than make sure I have everything. A book, pencil, pen, eraser, some water. Yeah, I should have everything. Sit down on the couch while I'm waiting for the time to kill the fire. Turning on the TV. Looks like there's a rewind of the newest episode of the fairy tale this season. After I check the schedule, if I recall correctly, then. Not this again, not parfait goes again. Why would a dude watch something with such a girly name? It surprised me that it was getting an animation since it seems kind of this to me when I first read it. Either way, the opening is actually kind of catchy. A little bit on the QC side of things, exactly. That's why I would watch it. Because not only am I a dude, but more to the point, I am a classic red, white, and blue blooded Philly, son! <sighs> but it's not so blah, blah, blah. blah. The graphics in the opening could definitely use some power stuff since they blah blah blah. The episode wraps up around 2.30, thank god. It wasn't bad, but it might be a little hard to stand down since the opening was blah 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 blah. Why, writers of this game? Why? All this to do now is wait for why I could go. At 2.55 I drove for a week as I ate my dog over. You coming! Shuffle over to the door and take a look at the two people finding my kiss standing outside. In their uniform again? Yeah, I guess she likes it. I open the door. Hi, Mikey. Good afternoon, Bob. Bob. Let me watch you put my shoes on, then we can head out. I knew that they take off the shoes in Japan upon coming in, but do they really do so for that short of time? It doesn't seem to make much sense. Okay, take okay, take your time. Oh, uh, wait, that was close to me, was it? Yeah. My bad. Okay, take your time. I grab my bag with all the things I need for the day, and along with my keys, then put it on my shoes. I had the door close it behind me, then look, lock it before putting the keys in my bag. Right, I'm all ready to go. Lead the way then. 
he said pissed by his sir on journey that bad. We have to take him a trip with the bus to get to it, but other than that, it's pretty much a street for traveling. I personally would never take a bus in real life. I don't trust buses, I don't trust public transit in general. Make some small talk mainly about the song progress. So how far have you gotten? I know you've told me about how you've had some difficulties with your song as a club. Honestly, I haven't even begun to think about it. I can't even nail down a single topic I'd like to write a song about. Well, maybe today I'll help you with that. Think of one. That's what I'm hoping. So, how far are you? Mm. Well, I've got some down the first verse. But that's about it. Song is pretty hard, huh? Ah, uh, it is. I might have overestimated my abilities. Well, it's a good thing you gave us three weeks rather than one or two, right? Yep. Oh, hold on. This is that bus. You board the bus. Yeah. Start our way towards the sea. Trees and bushes of town runs the skyline. Sky rises in the history. Build the sidewalks after a few minutes. I pull the bus forward. The track was trying to stop requesting going off the side of the show. Get off the right. Get off the right. We go off right across the street from the tower where I was talking about. Even though there's skyscrapers around the state, the tower has enough open space around it since it's in the middle of a large park. That way, the portion of it if you doesn't have any massive buildings in the way. Plus you can get food from the food court at the bottom and then you out like it's a picnic. Do you come here often? I can ask some questions when you cross the street the sidewalk. Not really. I I've only come here once or twice. I see. Though, so Papa Mop, can I ask you one more thing? Sure. Like he gives me a small, known smile. Can I ask you why you want to be just us? I'm sure the whole Ditch Club could benefit from this. That's. Hey, so you switched my life for an answer. Probably should have seen this coming, but I didn't vote any time to go. Ah, wait, no, I got it. Well. Well. I, I thought that, you know. Show it to you so you could get a good idea of the place. You know, since you know the entire literature club there. Um, yeah, you know whether or not they all benefit from it compared to me. Oh, 
if it ain't good to try to get everyone here. Try to get everyone here if they wouldn't all get something from it, right? <laughs> I see, I see. Even if she's saying that, I can tell she probably doesn't believe me. Well, I'll be sure to judge fairly today then. Okay. Park itself is already busting with activities. It's, it's a popular hangout, I think. There's lots of food carts going. Snacks and some street performers. Some street performers. However, we make a beeline right for the town. You know. First floor is a big food court and shopping area, but we get we get in line for this elevators right in the middle. Mine doesn't take long to go by, and soon Mike and I are already at the top of the tower. Oh, this is a cool background. There's a large glass, there's large glass paints making up the walls all around the circular viewing space and binoculars. You can drop cores into it. supposed to take place in Japan. Do they have cores in Japan? But they use yen there. Why can I find a bench that looks out towards our town and sit down taking out our things? Well, let's get to work. Yeah. Two of us sit in silence. I think the sounds of people walking by, children playing music out and shouting, and couples being lovey dovey. Occasionally I look to the side, finding that I can screw with something down before crossing it out. I guess I'll have to take this seriously. Try to think of a topic for a song. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I could write a song about being with friends. It would be something. How would that be something cheesy? I guess the, the expectations for me aren't exact. Dude, have some confidence in yourself. How many times do I have to say it? And and. To have confidence in real life, ladies and gentlemen. Science uses the topic of friendship and being with people. I care for I start writing my song. I guess it's more like writing a poem since so far I can only... I only care about the first verse. If anything, writing this song feels more like I'm putting down my life. It's actually kind of sad looking back on it. Why would it be sad? I really didn't have anyone I was close to for so long, so much of my life other than Sayori who I grew up with. The first verse is, the first verse is the sort of line that Where the point of view character is expecting lo expressing loneliness before finding face it as friends in. Yeah, this is sad looking at it. It's kind of hard to believe this was me only a short time ago. But maybe that's what maybe that's why it's surprisingly easy to write about. I don't even have to think about it very hard as the meaning as the memories 
of what it was like, what it was like, and how different it. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, as the screen keeps going out. How different it felt compared to. Compared to how. Compared to. Compared to now come naturally to me. After trying to get my words in to a good flow for the hundredth time, I check it out. I check my watch and find it's past six o'clock. Monica shows up as if knocked out of a trance. <clears throat> oh, about love, what is it? I was going to go upstairs since it's past six. What do you like? Oh, you don't have to get me anything. Well, I'd like to. I'd feel bad if I dragged you out here and then didn't at least get you dinner. <laughs> You're so sweet, Bob Mob. Well, I'm vegetarian. Also, I'm not that big of a fan of asparagus. Okay, I'll be right back then. I go down to the food court area and look around. I eventually settle on getting two vegetarian noodle dishes. Why would I get two of them? I'm not a vegetarian. I wait around for 10 minutes for our meals and make and take them and head back up the elevator. Back up the elevator. I walk back to the area where we were sitting, sitting and open my mouth to call out to my kid. However, the words die in my mouth. It just seems so beautiful against the sunset. Your brown hair sparkling in the orange light. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be sappy this whole time like this. It's true to say, you know. I can see you in the reflection even if you are straight behind me. S sorry, Ed. Where are food? I used to change topics really walking quickly over to the food out of food events. Um, you said no asparagus, so I went with two vegetarian noodle dishes. How much do I owe you? Huh? Nothing, it's fine. Think of it as thanks for coming out with me today, too. If you insist, Two of us then sit down and start eating our meals. About five minutes in, Marcus starts talking. So, did you make any progress? Yeah, I think I have a better idea of what to do now. I just find a good topic too. Oh, do you mind sharing? Well, you'll find out when I share, but you're kind of afraid of the other train. Haha, <laughs> I would. She falls away, giggling, and she pushes the top she chops the side. So, <laughs> so, what about you? Did you make any progress today? A bit. I was. Dramatic music suddenly. Is keeping you from working well? Hey, what? Why don't 
see fading like this. You could say that. I know. This is it. You can only hope to let me into a world of reality here. Instead of giving me the club pressing now. I guess you can. She speaks to my face and then you just look out the window. I've already told you before, right, about how I, this is a game. Yeah. That's how this is a modification. Yeah, you also brought that up. It's obviously about that. It absolutely confuses me. Just can't understand it. I don't get it at all. Okay. Oh, Mom, I should confess something to you. I knew what your intent was bringing me here. since the beginning. That's why I accept it. I don't think I could have said this in school. I'm a little too good at playing the part of club president, you know? Even here, wearing this uniform, I thought that I'd lose myself like I did at the festival. So I made sure not to take a risk. might even be just a bit petty on my part. There's something is still in my control. I've made up my mind on this. What you're doing, I'm sure it's all been well intentioned. But this isn't something you can fix. There's no point in trying. You can't save me from this place. It's all just a game after all. That's the beauty of head cannons. I can save you. I have. I hate morbid endings, so I head cannon this ain't happening. Unless the code is edited, nothing can change. That's how it is. That's a truth no one can change. But even so, it won't change what actually happened. Even the happiness they found isn't real. Yeah, it is. To me, it is. It's just a dream. So why? For some reason, I get the feeling those words weren't directed at me. I guess that means directed at the player. It's just like the rooftop again. Huh? Yes, exactly, exactly. No matter how many times you play through those roofs, it won't change the thing. Why do you keep on trying? This time around though, I can't hear the words I'm saying. I can hear the words I'm saying. Almost like they're being given to me. But it doesn't change the fact that there's nothing wrong with it. If that dream is th this modification my can mentioned before, then there's nothing wrong with finding happiness here. There's a, the original. The original did not end horribly. My head cans of it. Maybe they can't take it back with them, but. What's important is that somewhere they were happy. I 
see So that's what you think agree with you, the happiness I want, I had for a brief moment, but I guess it couldn't be called your happiness, thinking back on it, I don't want to settle on the dream either, that moment. No longer matters to me how much truth there was in this whole stuck in the game business. All I knew was that she was a student at the same school as Sarah and I, in the same year, com competent at almost anything she put her mind to, a good friend. Someone who was purposely denying herself happiness because she didn't think it was real or because of where she found it. I had been worried about I had been worried that the reason she cut herself away was that she thought she didn't deserve happiness but that worry has all gone away happiness is happiness no matter where you find it indeed I think someone said that anywhere can be paradise I might be forgetting the whole second part of that quote, but I think it's applicable here, indeed, definitely. It also been weighing on me these past few days, too, of whether or not Monica had been right about this game stuff. I kept telling myself that it shouldn't matter because it didn't affect me. But it doesn't matter to me anymore, regardless of that. Game or not, I found happiness at the Lich Club. No one can take that from me. So who cares if it's not real happiness? Right here and now, I know there's a feeling in me that makes me want to... Makes me want to smile when I think about that. I don't care if it's fake, if it's real, if it's some code telling me to think like that. All that matters is that it was here. How real it truly is, that can be thrown out. Indeed. Besides, if what Monica says is true, then this happiness would be cherished even more as someone had made a fundamental change. I had to fundamentally change the world just for it to exist. Indeed, my compliments to the writers on this game. The bang up job. Getting happiness for all. So all I have to do is conv convince Monica somehow to accept that even if it's all a dream, a show, a modification, something, or a game, that it's fine to accept that happiness that happiness anyway, because no matter where it is, because no matter where it was found, it doesn't change what it is. Micah turns around, facing me once again. Anyway, thank you for bringing me here today, Bob. I think this is a wonderful place. We should definitely bring everyone here who has come some... We should definitely bring everyone here sometime. Ha! Uh, maybe it... Couldn't be our... Maybe it could be our little place for inspiration. Yeah. 
Even though I know what she's trying to do, I can't help but get a little flustered. Well, if it well it was here for everyone, so if you want to share it, then I can't stop you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I want to enjoy the view just a little more, okay? I have no idea why that just happened. Even though she told me she refused to be happy in a dream, I can't help but feel that there was something real to what she just said just now. Maybe she really didn't she really did hold some value to this moment, even if it was, even if it's not real to her. Monica, I promise you, one day you'll be able to accept the happiness you can find here. Game or not. It's alright, as long as we don't stay on how to wait, I guess we... You get a cab as well. Mm hmm. Sunset slow begins to fade away. Soon enough, the spring evening takes hold of the day, with the sky becoming full of stars. Like it continues to stand, stare up behind, beyond the horizon, I quietly clean up our things. One by one, people begin to leave the viewing platform. After a few minutes, it's only us. Monica. I was pretty tugging at her sleeve, trying to get her attention. We have school tomorrow. We should you get going? Oh, oh, right. Sorry, Bob. I know I can said only a little while, but it's fine. It's a pretty view from up here, right? Yes, anyway, we should go now. It's hard to keep you up so late. Like I said, it's fine. Let's go. We head over to the elevator and wait in complete silence. The very car brings us back to the ground floor. All the hustle bustle from the early days gone. Food court employees are cleaning up as we exit the building, coming out of an empty park. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure this doesn't get too long, I'm going to end this particular chapter. If you dig what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I will sub back fairly well, ladies and gentlemen.